They are the unsung heroes of match days. Their tireless and meticulous effort to ready the pitch, a work of art. I've been a groundsman for over 25 years. I was three years head groundsman at Aston Villa before this job became available. And being a Welshman, there's only one place to work, so I came back to the Millennium Stadium to work in Wales. When I first started, we had the removable pitch system. Basically, it's um, a carpet of turf, 40 millimetres thick. And when these rugby players are scrummaging on it, it had a tendency to rip up if you weren't, if you weren't lucky, really. Um, so we, we did some inquiries and we decided that the best route would go to the, the pitch we have now, which is 3% um, artificial and 97% grass. Well, what happens when they build the pitch, when they construct the pitch, two or three giant sewing machines go over the pitch and they stitch nylon fibres into the root zone. And when the, when the pitch is seeded and the pitch starts to root, the roots tie themselves around the plastic fibres in the root zone and they make the pitch indestructible, really. Um, you couldn't dig a hole in our pitch if you, if you were tried with a, with a shovel or a spade. The grass in this stadium will not grow without artificial lights. After a game, when we've got a three or four day gap between the next game, all the lights will come onto the pitch within an hour of the final whistle. They'll spend half the time in one half, and then we'll move the lights to the other half of the pitch where they'll spend the rest of the remainder of the time. They'll get removed the day before a game. During the Rugby World Cup here, we have three double headers. We have game Saturday, game Sunday. So on Friday, all four teams will come in for what they call a captain's run. They get two hours each, of which 90 minutes is on the pitch. Friday evening, we have to repair the pitch, mow it, um, knock all the scratches back together, and prepare it for the game on Saturday. And then Saturday, it follows on again then. We will come on at the end of the, at the, end of the game, We'll mow it, and what, what basically you're doing is hoover in any loose debris that's come off the surface, any little bits and pieces. It'll be hoovered, it'll be divoted, and on match day morning, it'll be mowed again and marked out again. So it's, it's an ongoing process, really. We have basically two different types of mowers. We have a little um, hoover mower, a Honda mower. After the game, it takes six people an hour and a half to, to Honda a pitch. If you're going to do it on your own, it's a 12 mile walk. On a match day morning, we go over it with our finishing mowers, which are the, the mowers with a little roller on the front. That then gives you a nice stripe. Um, I have three of them in my team. And again, if you're going to do one of them on your own, that's an eight mile walk. Underneath this surface, there's, I think, 12 miles of undersoil heating. There's, as they say, state-of-the-art irrigation system. What we do here at the Millennium Stadium, we harvest the rainwater. All the rain that falls on these giant roofs are caught in underground tanks. They go through a series of filters, and then I, what I use for my irrigation system. Around the pitch, I have pop-up sprinklers that um, can be operated by mobile phone. They can be operated from my computer at home. I can monitor the soil moisture levels, and if the levels are dropping too low, I can set a program that can operate the irrigation system 50 miles away from the pitch. So it, it's state-of-the-art. You can. The only thing I haven't got is a mower I can operate from home. <laughs>